entire world of a cancer patient, isn't it? Because most of the time, the experiences which you might have heard about chemotherapy is not that pleasant setting. That means we integrate the conventional medical oncology alongside the other Indian systems of medicines like yoga. Chemotherapy is not harmful. However, the amount of chemotherapy you might be taking will be a problem. So we combine every systems of medicine together for conceptually correcting the cancer not by destroying the patient's quality. Hello everyone. Today we'll discuss one of the most scariest topic for cancer patients. Chemotherapy. The word shatters the entire world of a cancer patient, isn't it? Because most of the time the experiences which you might have heard about chemotherapy is not that pleasant. Or even when you enter into a cancer ward and you see the patients who have already undergone cancer treatments like chemotherapy or other drug related therapies, they may be having a lot of side effects. It will be like, you know, they do not have hair or they are not able to eat food or they are not feeling energetic. These are the common complaints which we see with chemotherapy in many patients. But we are an integrative oncology setting. That means we integrate the conventional medical oncology alongside the other Indian systems of medicines like yoga, naturopathy, homeopathy, siddha together for supporting the conventional approaches as well. We conceptually approach and correct the cancer patient's needs in terms of his metabolic needs and also help him to come out of the cancers. So, do we have to be scared for taking a chemotherapy? First thing you need to understand, it's like, you know, what is mean by a chemotherapy and how much chemo should be a person taking? There is a huge misconception about the chemotherapy drugs. If you really know, chemotherapy is not harmful. However, the amount of chemotherapy you might be taking would be a problem. So, if your target is only destroying the cancer, your oncologist may be suggesting you need to take some 12 cycles, 6 cycles of a heavy dose of chemotherapy, which will be actually harming your body. That is why exactly the stories as I told in the beginning, like losing the hair, lack of appetite, and you're not able to move around, or not able to do your things happens when you take such kind of chemotherapy. But in our hospital, when we combine every systems of medicine together for conceptually correcting the cancer, not by destroying the patient's quality of life. That means we use a very low dose, minimal amount of chemotherapy. The patient can comfortably take it for a longer time. However, if you take a higher dose of chemotherapy agents, what will happen? There is something called pancytopenia. That means it reduces your white blood cells, it reduces your red blood cells, your platelet count go down. The patient will not be in a position to take up any further treatments because uh, there will be lack of oxygen inside the body. Frequent infections will happen because the WBCs are going down. In conventional oncology, this is a major problem. But when you do it in an integrative oncology approach, when your oncologist prescribes a very minimal dose of the prescribed chemotherapy alongside the other curative approaches like oncothermia and other integrative oncology therapies will be helping to minimize the side effects and you can take as many as chemotherapy cycles without affecting your quality of life like how you treat diabetes we can reverse the cancers by judiciously using the doses of chemotherapy so chemotherapy is something not for something which you need to be scared anymore you need to talk to your integrative oncologist like in what we do over here. You can definitely maneuver the doses and take it safer and live a long life without being scared of cancer and its treatments. Thank you very much.